war. War never changes. Spoken at the beginning of every Fallout game, it immediately sets the mood for what's to come. A precursor to what this game is really about. The long-term effects of thermonuclear devastation. This video, however, won't be as heavy. In this episode of Colocals, we'll be comparing some of the locations in Fallout 4 with an abandoned military base and lighthouse on the outskirts of Texas. Texas, a land gushing with giant, beautiful cities, wide open spaces, and a deep, rich history. There are many natural and man-made wonders to explore and discuss, but one really caught my eye and did not disappoint. Matagorda Island Air Force Base is located in a small portion of a much larger barrier island in the Gulf of Mexico. Running parallel to the southeast border of Texas, the original airfield base was built in 1942 as the Matagorda Island General Bombing and Gunnery Range. The military base was decommissioned in 1975 after the end of the United States' involvement in the Vietnam War. But there was more to this base than a few abandoned buildings. There's also a 170-year-old lighthouse to explore. So we packed it up and started making our way to the Lone Star State. But in order to reach the island, we needed a boat. So we went to Port O'Connor, a small town three hours southwest of Houston. If you want to visit this island, you're going to have to catch a ride with the local ferryman. The ride itself was very smooth and only takes you about 25 to 30 minutes to reach the dock on Matagorda. As we arrived at the dock, we immediately spotted the military buildings, mostly torn down and abandoned, with only a couple of storage units used by the government wildlife refuge. The lighthouse is a bit away from their arriving point, the docks being the only way to access Matagorda Island. You could try landing on another part of it, but you would have to risk going through tall grass, and with the supposed poisonous snakes, we took our chances on the trail. As we start our hike, I start to feel like I've seen this place before, but I never have. What I was thinking of is a video game world. The Fallout series has always been about the worst case scenario of what the war machine can do to humanity and the world that we live in. The somber atmosphere in the games are a constant reminder of what the world used to be. There's something that I felt on that island that made me think directly about Fallout. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that it felt so strange to be so alone in such an almost magnificent space, the same space that just 50 years ago was bustling with gigantic and loud machines of destruction, but now was just incredibly serene. Island. Probably a landing strip before. This is, this is a uh, probably was the size of a landing strip. Yeah, it has to be. This is it. Yeah, those are the barriers over there. The barriers. The extreme lack of civilization would have felt unsettling if not for the tranquil sounds of the wind flowing through the tall grass and the constant crashing of waves. The three mile hike to the lighthouse was definitely not easy. A long trek back. I don't think it's going to be as bad as the trip was over here. But uh, still going to 
not be fun, right? Yeah. Wow. It's a long way. It's a very, very long way. It says it's three miles, but I think that's I think that's as the crow flies, because I don't think we walked three miles over here. I think it was more like four and a half. And uh, as you can see, it's not really the great the greatest of roads to walk on, but it it will do. We didn't see one human the entire time we were there. Little wildlife as well, besides a glimpse of a wild deer, but I wasn't quick enough with the camera and he got spooked as soon as he saw us. It took us about an hour and a half, but we finally got to our destination, Matagorda Island Light. There is actually a lighthouse in Fallout 4 called Kingsport Lighthouse. And even though Fallout 4 is based out of a real area in Boston, Massachusetts, Kingsport Lighthouse is a fictional location within the game, and I was surprised how similar it was to Matagorda Island. The lighthouse stands almost as if it knows it's forgotten. Officially, nothing has been put into maintaining it for over a decade, but it's not going away anytime soon, as it's proven throughout the centuries. The lighthouse was built on December 31st, 1852, and was the beacon to the now ghost town of Indianola, which was once the second largest port in Texas. It was completely abandoned after two hurricanes hit in 1875 and 1886. Terrible storms that wiped the once thriving city off the face of the earth. A few terrible natural disasters isn't the only thing that this lighthouse has survived, but also civil war. The Confederate States Navy tried blowing it up to keep it out of the Union's hands, knowing that its capture would be a major acquirement during the American Civil War especially because the surrounding line is flat, you would be able to see any incoming threats from miles away. That explosion did damage it, but it was rebuilt and upgraded from 55 feet to its current height, 92 feet, in 1873. It was officially put out of commission in 1995, and the last time it was renovated was in 2004. And it's starting to show. I wish I had the keys. No way, this baby, this sucker is definitely locked. Yep. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a cool door. What do you think? That door looks cool? But I feel that is what makes this location so special. It's out of the way. It's unremembered. It's an incredible piece of history in an equally awe-inspiring location. And that's all I have to say about Matagorda Island. But that's not the whole story of the island, the base, or the tower. If you want to know more, why not read and explore it for yourself to get the best experience possible? Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Colo Cows as much as I enjoyed making it. It's been a long ride. This video was two years in the making. For those of my friends that were waiting, thank you for supporting me. For those of you watching this for the first time, thank you very much for giving me your time. And until next time, this is Andy with Colo Cows. Later.
can be as loud as you want when you're not one 